In order to find the area of a triangle, we're going to be using the formula area equals one half base times height. And in this class, we, in this case, we've got an equilateral triangle, which means that all of the sides are the same length and they're all 10 feet. So here's the triangle. So we've got the base down here is 10. So that's going to be the base. But now we need the height, which me is measured perpendicular to the base. So from here, go straight down. And then we need to find this height. Well, this is in the section with special triangles because we now right here actually have a 30, 60, 90 triangle. The original triangle had all of the sides the same. And if all of the sides are the same, then all of the angles have to be the same. And the sum of the angles of a triangle is 180. So the only number that will be the same, and all three of them add up to be 180, is 60, 60, 60. So you've got this angle down here is 60. And then when I drew this red line, it cuts the top angle in half. So we've got a 30, 60, 90 triangle. So I'm just going to move that 30, 60, 90 triangle over here. And we need to find H if this side's a 10. And I actually could do this a couple of ways. One is I could say the bottom 10 got cut in half, so this is a 5 and then use the Pythagorean theorem. Or I could use the 30, 60, 90 theorem, which is another way to do it. I think I'm gonna use the Pythagorean theorem. So the bottom got cut in half, this is now five, and then we've got h squared plus five squared equals 10 squared. So it's going to be a 25 and a 100 subtract 25 from both sides and then take the square root h is going to be the square root of 75 and then to simplify the square root of 75 75 can be written as 25 times 3 so we can take the square root of 25 which is 5 and leave the square root of 3 which is irrational and now I have all the pieces that we need, so area is equal to 1 half. Go back to the original triangle, and the base is 10. And then the height is 5 square root of 3. So in total, this is going to be a 5 times 5 is 25. 25 radical 3. And then the units are going to be feet times feet or square feet.